Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we'll be making a black hole. Let's see how I made it. Okay, so let's leave the default sprite and add a new one. So this is gonna be the hole which is gonna be in the center. So you can press shift to draw a perfect circle. Shift and drag, then to draw a perfect circle like this. And let's go here and just take a green flag option and take a go to zero zero. So it'll go to the center of the screen. And now let's make the ring. So stain is sprite, and this is also going to be black. You can use any color you want. Just gonna make it black. Just put it in the center. Like that. Okay, so this is gonna be the ring. Okay, so now let's take a green flag option. And we need to uh, clone some sprites around around this uh, hole. So let's make a new variable. It's gonna be radius for the sprite only. Make sure it's the sprite only. Click OK. So the radius is gonna tell us uh, how far it is from this object. So I'll, I'll go to, I mistakenly created it here. Must create it in the ring sprite. To make it here. Radius for the sprite only. Okay, so now let's take a repeat block and let's repeat it for uh, 150 times. So it, it should be cloning sprites, 150 clones. Okay, so we need to set the radius from pick random to 35 to 100 and then let's create a clone uh, here okay. create a clone and then when I start as a clone, let's uh, make a new variable, which is going to be speed. It's going to be the speed of your object, the speed. So let's set this to zero at the beginning. Okay. Now let's take a forever block and change speed by one change speed by one not set you can keep any number which is going to be the speed so i'll just keep it to two i think also let's hide these variables and after that it should uh, make circles like it should go around this black hole sprite so let's go to motion and take a go to We'll be using sine and cos for this. So let's uh, let's go to operators and take sine of speed and let's multiply this by the radius. Now this is going to be a small number, so I'll be making it a little bit more bigger by multiplying this with 2. Now let's put it in the x. And now we need to, uh, and this is a 3D black hole, so we need to uh, make uh, the rotation, so it's going to be the, the so this variable is going to be the rotation in the x-axis. So let's name it x 
rotation and right day wait a minute spell it right rotation for all sprites okay so now we need to divide radius and x rotation and let's uh, take the cos of speed and let's multiply these two values with this to get the x rotation x rotation i mean it should be the y rotation uh, okay that's fine now so now if we click the green flag option uh, okay i think it's because the x rotation is currently nothing yeah it's zero make it into a slider and just make it something like four Okay, it's making the circle you can see and then it's spinning so fast. So make it one. And also let me make the sprite more smaller, it's too big. It's small. Uh, wait, speed is not supposed to be there. I think I will just put this here in a separate area like this. And now, oh, it's spinning, but not like that. Okay, so. Let's put this back here. I got what the mistake was. So when we set speed to zero, all of these particles are like making are in the same uh, area. So that's why it is happening. So when the clone is created, we need to pick random from one to three sixty, and now it should. Uh, not do that. Uh, okay, let's put this in a different area like this and should work. Still not. Okay, so now I got it. So since uh, this variable is controlled by all the clones, this variable is going so high that it cannot generate properly so uh, let's delete the variable again okay, goes in some places now let's make the variable again for the sprite only okay and now let's put this here and here this I don't need this anymore set speed from 0 to 360 uh, then should change this uh, speed by 1 or 2 and now it's generating properly as you can see now we made a ring and you can control it by this value but it, if it goes to zero, this weird thing happens. So, so let's change the slider range from uh, five or let's put ten point zero zero. It's going to be deci decimal numbers, and instead of zero, we'll be putting zero point five. We don't need it to be exactly zero. Let's put zero point one and. Okay, no, not even 
0 0.1, let's put 0 0.5. Yeah, now it's okay. Now you can just do this. Okay. So now let's make the second ring. And also, if you're making the making this uh, dot into some other color, like I'll just add a simple glow like this behind this object. So now you can see all the sprites are behind this object. So we need the objects that are in front of the black hole, this hole to be in front. So let's do it. So now let's add a sprite and this can be any color. So I'll just make a small rectangle. Then wait, it should be in single color. Let me make this background black so I can see it properly. Not black. Just going to make it like this. Okay, now you can see everything properly. So you just need to put it halfway through this uh, hole, like this. And then let's take this object. And if we are touching sprite sprite two, which is this rectangle, it should uh, go to front layer. Else, the back layer that a little bit down somewhere there okay so now you can see it's just showing there so if we just use hide it will not work the object will not be able to uh, detect this object so what we'll be doing is taking a set color to a ghost effect and let's make this 100 so now this object will be able to detect that object and it's completely invisible so let's add a green flag op uh, option there. And now, if you play, okay, I, I I think I need to move this a little bit more down here somewhere. Yeah, now it's working. You can see the back, the, the sprites in the back are going in the back, and the sprites in the front are going in this area, which is what we need. Okay, now let's make the second ring, and let me make the glow. A bit small because it's too big. Yeah, now that's better. Now let's make the second ring. And I did this. I, I got this value so that so both when we duplicate this for making the other ring, both of them will have the same amount of clones. So uh, everything we need to do in this one is uh, just change this divide into a minus and that's all you need to do to get the other ring and both the rings are right now not in the correct place so let me make this go all the way to zero so both the rings are there so what we have to do is is let's make another variable it's going to be the same variable so day shunt x rotation at 2 and let's make this also into a slider and and uh, this one you can leave the range there itself uh, let's make this two full so it's in side view and now uh, instead of this x rotation put the x 
expectation that we just created now. And now you should just see that it's working. But uh, let's just change this to one. Yeah, well, let's just change this to one. And now you can see it's better. And if I make it a top view, it goes like that. So now let's, we don't need to change both of these. So let's uh, fix this problem. We need to change both of these variables to get it straight. So let's fix this problem here. So untick both of these variables and let's go to the whole thing, this whole. So we will be controlling with arrow keys, this thing. So let's take the forever block and take an if block. If, if, uh, uh, is that over here, this, if the key, up arrow is pressed, then it should uh, change x rotation, which is going to be the first ring, by 0 0.1, and x rotation 2 should be just 1. Let's duplicate this and make down arrow here. And change this by minus 0.1 and minus 1. Now, if you play it, press up arrow, I mean down arrow. Okay, not that right. But you can see that you can go more than the maximum value and you get this weird thing. Like you can go more than the maximum and this happens. This area becomes too big. So let's fix that. Uh, let me just take these two. Let's see which the maximum values. Okay. So so this should only happen. This should only happen if if. Uh, The uh, x rotation 2 is equal to 0. Or, um, equal to 100. I mean, not equal to 100. You need to put a not there. And now we shouldn't be able to go more than the maximum. Then also not going more than the maximum. Now we need to make it go, we should not make it go below the minimum. So let's duplicate this, delete this code, put this inside it, let's put the entire thing there, set this to zero. So now if I do both of them at maximum, go down. Oh, still not that much. Um, okay, so here, here I need to add one more thing. So we need to set x rotation by 0 0.5. So that weird thing doesn't happen. Make this to maximum. Now if I do it, that shouldn't happen now. And if I go all the way up, okay, and that's it. If you like this video, please subscribe and click the bell icon. Thanks for watching.